everybody. Thanks for joining me on my channel today with Amy's Creative Acrylics. Hi, I'm Amy. Hello. Today I'm going to do um, a painting of open cut pour on a two 14 by 14 canvas. I am going to use um, Creative Inspirations Titanium White from my base. I'm going to use Rustoleum's Metallic Amethyst, Creative Inspiration's Purple Lake, Arteza's Pearl Turquoise, Artislav's Pearl Royal Purple. I'm sorry, that was Arteza's. <laughs> and Arteza's Pearl Magenta. Arteza's Pearl Glacier Blue and Arteza's Pearl Rose Quartz. Kind of Valentine's Day colors. Um, I'm going to do, I think I kind of want to do something like maybe kind of this way and have some negative space. We'll see how it goes. Um, I do have everything taped and pinned. I'm going to leave a little space here so I can make sure I get enough white on both of them. It'll be right away. And kind of spread this all out here. Hopefully, I have enough white made. I um, don't have my spatula in here. <clears throat> you don't realize how hard it is to spread it out with. Um, with a popsicle stick when you're used to using the that amazing spatula that everybody should have. <laughs> that great big yellow and white. That one is amazing. I think I'm definitely going to have to have some more white here. <clears throat> Make sure everything is covered really well, of course. Oh yeah, and before we get going on the other colors, I do want to show um, the last one that I did where I wanted to show the dried results because I did I forgot to put the dried result on the video at the end. So I'll make sure that we oops. <clears throat> I want to show you that. It turned out really cool. I'm really excited. The cells were amazing on it. go over everywhere perfectly. I see a couple things I don't want in there.
Sorry, I'm just trying to get these little, couple little goobies I see here. Sometimes you can only see them when it's tipped to you. This one's a big one. <laughs> Good thing I got that one. Sometimes this is why it's easier to do your base off camera. Because it does take a little bit longer to get it done. Sorry, this takes longer. Want to make sure you get everything covered, at least with one coat on there, so you don't have any bare canvas, especially when you're tilting or using the blow dryer to blow some paints over the side. You want to make sure you have everything covered really well with at least your base coat. All my paints are mixed with Floetrol and a little bit of water on some, not on all of them. <clears throat> Spots here in the middle that don't have paint on them. back together here maybe not necessarily touch but pretty close and then I'm going to let's see I think I think I will start here and kind of work my way up this way Start with a little bit of the purple. I do want to grab my white here because I do want to put some white. Probably we have something to work with here. You just kind of, I'm kind of just doing like a dirty pour like these because I want to try to get some cells in there. I don't necessarily want, I was going to put gold in too and then I got <laughs> like, um, I kind of have a lot of colors. <laughs> so I didn't end up mixing the gold. Now I'm probably going to wish that I did, but I don't know. We'll see. I was just thinking something soft and pretty. Wow, 
lots of pretty cells there. <clears throat> Oops, maybe. Trying not to let it move too much here because I want to have enough in here to go over that split there without losing too much. That should probably be plenty enough to get us through the end here. I'm kind of just going to spin it right off of the edge there so that way I don't have like a, a ring on the end. It. I think I forgot to torch the light. when we start tilting we can kind of keep this to where it somewhat matches together here
Not as many big sales as I was hoping for, but why I like to do these. I think they're just so cool. Kind of make it a little different. You just got to make sure you don't put your finger all the way down to the canvas, which I do sometimes. <laughs> <clears throat> Pretty. I was kind of hoping for more cells, but I see some more. I'm going to torch it again. I see some more air bubbles, so. Hit it with my apron again. Didn't shake it up very well. kind of thick when it came out so let me just kind of scrape some of those off those little globs then I'll fix this and then I'll bring you down for a closer look I really like it though, it looks cool. I, I wish some of the other colors, maybe I put too much of the deep purple in there. I was hoping like this blues and would pop out a little bit more, but still cool, funky cool. Bring it down. Cut off all the 
lights here. It's pretty. I was just hoping it's more of those colors would have came out. Make sure that you don't get your drips down here too. You don't want to leave those. Bring you around here. Sorry, pink's not in here tonight, neither. My kids are home because I haven't been feeling very well. So they came home and <clears throat> so she's hanging out with them. But so you see how this right here is dry? You don't want to leave that dry like that. So you just want to make sure that you cover the canvas. Probably do better if I wasn't trying to film it. Because <laughs> I've kind of been missing it, but. Pretty lacing there. See those colors? I just wish they would have came out a little bit more, but. That would have been pretty. Look at that deep blue there. That would have been pretty. Some pretty lacing. It'll be very shimmery when it's done. That's pretty cool. But I hope everybody enjoyed my video. I do appreciate you watching. I apologize. I'm not very talkative today. I just have feeling the best. But I wanted to get the video done. So make sure I have one out for Wednesday. But I thank everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. And you'll like and share and subscribe. I would appreciate that. I'm trying to build my channel up. And... All of my art is for purchase, and I'll leave all my information, my email in the description, so you can just email me if you're interested. And I also have a lot more art on my Instagram, so if anything there, you can DM me on my Instagram, or you can email me as well. And I thank everybody for watching. Hopefully everybody is being healthy and safe from the COVID, and have a good evening. Keep being creative. Bye.